It is my Gateway MT6728 laptop, which I fixed by replacing the motherboard. Buy a motherboard recently on eBay for about $20, $16 for, to be exact. When I replaced it, it would shut off after 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm used, I'm used to when it's overheating, it actually reboots, but for this gateway laptop, when it overheats, it actually just shuts off the laptop. Um, so when I had the laptop open, I didn't look to check the fins on here. I mean, this is actually an easy laptop to work on once you take off the the bottom cover over here. It's just a matter of taking off the screws and snapping it off. You can easily take off the heat sink fan over here in the heat heat sink pipe. Let me pause this while I get a better screwdriver. This one doesn't fit well. As I mentioned before, it's really easy to work on the cleaning out the fan on this heat sink. You just remove the power cord over here, the power switch or whatever. And then you just unplug, unscrew these five screws. One, two, three, four, five. And then you'll have access to the fan and the fins. So this is actually really nice because it's easy to upgrade your CPU. Right now this is using a dual core T2330 and I'm planning to upgrade it to an Intel Core 2 Duo processor. See it comes off very easily once you take off the screws. Just pull it out like that. I actually added my own thermal paste. Usually before this it had some kind of metal metal some kind of metal thing attached to it. I had to clean it off. So you'll need to clean these fins out. You can use a compressed air blower. But in my case when I was cleaning it out, I actually just took a toothpick and then just pulled out the dust bunnies from inside here. If you look inside, you can see how dirty it is. I was able to clear out most of the dirt. So you can just take anything, like a small screwdriver, and just pull out the dirt over here. And then finally, you can again blow compressed air. Or I like to use a vacuum, but most people wouldn't suggest using a vacuum because of, because of static electricity reasons. Uh, so do whatever you want to fix your heating problems. So then you can plug it back in and then screw it back all back together. Make sure it's tight enough. And that's it. It's actually very easy cleaning out the heat sink for this laptop. Again, I'm waiting for the parts for my new CPU. I bought it for like seven dollars. I know I should probably just get a new laptop but anyways this is really easy to work on so